one of the things about coming out and one of the things about transitioning is that it's very emotional and it's very stressful. Um, I'm, my name change is one thing. I was fortunate in that I actually filed the paperwork myself. It wasn't that difficult and I understood all the stuff that I needed. I was fortunate in that uh, the judge's office that I visited in Porter County, Indiana was very helpful to me. Uh, no one gave me any ridicule. No one was like, why are you doing this? You know, I even put on my name change form, you know, why do you want to transition? Well, I'm a transgender woman and I want to identify as such permanently. And to do so, I need a permanent name for legal reasons. So I've been pretty lucky there. Uh, it's still a bit stressful. The biggest problem I have relates back actually to my hormonal levels and it's how they affect my emotions. I have mentioned before in other instances that being on estrogen is sort of like just taking down all your filters you remove everything and all your emotions they all just sort of you know come right out uh, maybe not the way you like them to do it but they do come out uh, one of the transgender groups that I admin on Facebook it, it's kind of funny because the the trans guys are all like, oh, you know, I just started on testosterone, and man, I feel real mellow, and this is really great. I just sit back, you know, and I don't go through mood swings anymore, and you know, it's it's really nice. And, and, and all the trans girls are like, ah! I'm out of my mind. Will this stop? Is this supposed to be this way? You know, it, and it really is true. There was even one person who was saying, like, after eight months, you know, I start crying at everything. And uh, um, I, I remarked, oh, yeah, the, <laughs> yeah, you, you get used to it. And that's really the thing that you spend a lot of time doing is not learning to be emotional because you're going to be emotional and if you were emotional before you began HRT aye, aye, aye. Uh, it's just gonna come in spades but the the thing you really learn to do is you learn to deal with it and sometimes I haven't dealt with them really good I, I've had the mood swings I have had a couple of instances at work where I went high I went low I was once in a situation where I got so pissed off <laughs> that I had to walk away from my cubicle and I went down to the break room and I nearly threw my coffee cup across the break room I was so pissed and then like 10 minutes later I was in another room sobbing uncontrollably because I was just like oh god I'm no good I can't take this anymore you know and you do you just you get nuts. Uh, it happens. I have had instances where I've sat at my desk just sobbing, you know, quietly, but tears running down my face like nobody's business. I told one person that there was an instance about six weeks after I started hormones where uh, I was in such a bad mood, I walked in the apartment and literally collapsed to the ground. I started crying so hard that I collapsed and just sort of, you know, did the, the fetal curl and that was it, you know, just cried myself out for about five minutes straight. And then you get up and you're sort of like, oh, okay, I feel better now, kind of. You just go with it. To me, probably the hardest part is dealing with your emotions. 
you're already kind of an emotional basket case when you decide you're going to transition anyway. And so when you get into uh, the actual transitioning, it can be kind of hard. And estrogen just ramps everything up. I've had more than a couple of instances where I've been in positions that if it were the old me, and I'm talking about going back like five, ten years, if it had been the old me, I would have been in those situations, I probably would have been sad for a day or two, and then I just would have locked everything down. <sighs> Not this time. Um, this time I've had cases where something has made me incredibly sad and it's still making me sad a month later. But at the same time, what has made me so sad is the fact that the instances that brought me to that sadness were these moments of intense joy and happiness that I never felt before. And I guess that really is one of the driving things on this, on this transition is not only learning to get in touch with those emotions that I, that I used to have, but always kept them kind of pushed aside. It's not only getting in touch with them anymore, but reveling in them, enjoying them. There is an incident in my life Rather, um, rather current one that still gets me right here. It still gets me crying. Uh, not so much right now, because I had my shot yesterday, <laughs> and uh, my emotions are not my my hormones are not at the low, so my emotions are not down. But if I give the situation you know, too much thought, uh, even on a good day, I'll start crying. Because here it comes. Um, because it was a little bit like Mr. Spock in the Star Trek episode, The Side of Paradise, for a short time. I was happy. I was really happy. See? <laughs> I knew it'd come. <sighs> and even though it's sad now, I think back about how happy I was just for a short time. And I remember 10 years ago, even five years ago, I wasn't a happy person. I rarely got happy. And getting in touch with being the woman I am has helped me get back in touch with those feelings that I really kept suppressed for the longest time. <laughs> yes, there is sadness and it hurts. It hurts bad. But I've also seen that when you're happy, oh man, it is something else. Moments 
of joy and terror, as I say in my current novel. And this is kind of what, kind of what I'm going through these days. The physical part of transitioning and the social part of transitioning are not that difficult for me. I've been really lucky in that I've had an accepting workplace environment. I've had friends who are accepting of me. Um, you know, I've received a lot of support from people. Most of them, almost all of them, cis women. The real struggle with transitioning has been with me. Adapting to essentially becoming a new person. That's the hardest part, is you are becoming a new person. This is puberty 2.0. And just as when you go through puberty the first time, you go into it as one person and you come out completely different. I went into this as one person and when I'm through with this, and there will be a point where all of this will work out. Um, I'll be a completely different person, and I'm close to that point now. I know how to handle myself. I know how to keep the emotions kind of in place, but I also am of the understanding, you know. Yeah, sometimes you're going to cry. Sometimes you're really going to feel sad, and you are going to cry. But it's only because the moments of joy was so outstandingly brilliant that it kind of hurts to let them go. So don't ever let them go. Hang on to them. And remember, you know, that was a part of you. For those of you that are thinking about transitioning, you're probably thinking, oh, this bitch is crazy. <laughs> uh, no. You transition because you want to. Uh, don't transition because I'm saying you need to do it. For me, it was the right choice. Even with the parts of transitioning that hurt. The emotional parts. I haven't had too many physical sensations that are, that are bad for me. It's mostly all emotional. The emotional parts, you will get a grip on them. Um, I'm definitely not the the emotional basket case I was literally about a year ago. I, I handle it far better. You do this because you want to. You do this because you have to. And you do it because it's the right choice for you. This was the right choice for me. And I can't tell you that there is a right way or a wrong way to transition. I know that there are ways that you can do it that make things go easier for you. But I will also say at this point, transitioning now is getting a lot easier. There is a lot more public visualization of transgender people and a lot more public acceptance. I run into it all the time. I've, you know, I still love to get the PMs every once in a while where they were like, you weren't born a woman? <laughs> you know, and it's like, well, it's a little difficult to explain, but um, yes, I was born with a body that would not be considered a woman's body, but as we know now, when you're born a woman, your body is a woman's body. Even if it didn't look like one, even if it looked like a lumpy dude's body, you're still a woman. That doesn't define you. What defines you is what is in here and what is in here. Not any of this. So, if there's anything you can take away from this, it's that if you got to transition, 
and you feel like you got to transition and you feel it's the right thing to do for you, then go for it. Because even though there will be difficulty and even though there will be pain and even though there's going to be <laughs> a lot of expenses, uh, mostly the pain and the expenses, even though that's going to be there, I'll tell you, a year later, uh, I would never go back. I couldn't. It would, it would be impossible at this point. And frankly, why would I want to destroy something this awesome? So, there you have it. Happy coming out day. And I hope it all goes well for you. And I hope it all goes well for me. Take care. And I'll see you around.